So that's the old, and this is the new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So, what do you think about life in your Is there some, something different like this is old and new, or this is all the same? Which we have bought it. I think the new is always built on the old, isn't it? So most mm. of it, at least, yes. So that's, I think that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So I think um, the old will always remain there as, as a foundation for as the new. As a foundation. So yeah. Always, always remain. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. And uh, it's good to preserve the old, right? Always good to preserve the world. Always good. It has mm. its own values. Zarur. And when the wind is blowing, what do you say to the sun's dhulhan? Sun's dhulhan? Every time I look out on large spaces like this, it just makes, it, yeah, it makes you feel how small you are, really, in the scheme of things. Same thing for creativity. You're just a speck of sand, really, mm. if you look at the entirety of that. Of the creative world, you are nothing. And many of you have heard me say that even though you are a teacher, you are still a student. Oh yes, yes. You know, till, never, till the last breath, I can tell you. That is beautiful. Yes, you have yeah. to be. You have to be. And that gives you a reason to go on. Absolutely. There's so yeah. much to learn. Are you going to show us a studio? Absolutely. All right, let's walk there. Let's do it. So, while you were mentioning that uh, the old and is equally important, apart from the burden of responsibility and. Uh, mm -hmm that big weight that the youth has to live with. What is worth preserving in the old? What is that one thing that you would want to let the new take from the old? The new, are you, are, are you discussing this in, in, in context? In of context of, yeah, in context of what, of what, what, what and mm -hmm, you were saying, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. the, it is important to preserve old. Yes, yes. Definitely. So apart from the burden of uh, responsibilities and, and traditions and mm -hmm. and the weight of the, all of that carries what is that one thing that the old should pass on to the new the old has to pass pass on one thing they have to pass on the baton mm. one thing which they refuse Absolutely. to do at times so i always tell people artists or anybody who's mm. from the old school or from the previous eras that you have to pass on you can't hold on to it all the time that once Everybody, there's always a shelf life. You see? Mm. People don't realize that. Mm -hmm. So you have to always pass on. And, and the young, young people who are coming with new technologies, new skills, they need to um, accept what the old, what the old technology or old skills are. With some young uh, creatives, they don't want to do that. True. They think that what they are doing is the best. So, there are positives on both sides. So just as the old has to hand over, mm -hmm. the young has to take it, take the good things from, from the old. That's why I think it has to be kind of a handshake between, between both of them. Yeah. I, I find you in that best position to let us know of that is because I see that transfer of information and the transfer of responsibility and the transfer of leadership as well, which I see in the institute. And that's one of the things that makes me uh, an enjoyable student. Let's put it this way. I, I, I enjoy the time. This is great. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the, the, the older generation, I'm talking about the creative arts, they hold on to their knowledge. They mm. are somehow not very keen on passing it. I can't understand this. Why. Mm. So, you know, but they must learn to give all that they know to the young. And the young should be open-minded enough to accept what they... Because both have... And also, the, the people from the... I use the terms old and young. Mm -hmm. the people of the old have to also learn from the young. True. See, it has to. So I think the old people have to also I want to, uh, you, 
one thing I envy, I mean many things I envy about you. लेकिन उसमें से एक जो सबसे बड़ी जो मैं envy करता हूँ वो है your ability to cook. अच्छा. And uh, because I think that's a great skill. ये एक एक uh, you know enrich करने का लोगों का skill है. It's not only it. Of course, it provides sustenance. लेकिन उसके पीछे जो art form है. और वो जो जैसे आपके म्यूजिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स सारे कंबाइन होके एक मेलोडी निकालते हैं क्या वैसे ही उसमें नमक मिर्च प्याज भी मिक्स करके एक उसकी अलग ही धुन निकलती है तो वो जो एक स्किल है और जो वो हर बार एक नया गीत निकलना वो मुझे लगता है कि बहुत बड़ा टैलेंट है और आई कैन मे बी बॉयल एन एग सो तो वहां से आई वॉन्ट टू First of all, go to your workshop जहाँ पे आप ये करते हैं। Yeah, yep, yep. And uh, if we can see you in action, it'll be great. नहीं तो I would definitely like to uh, learn Thai because that is another thing that gives you a lot of peace, I believe. Like cooking and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. Okay. Yeah. So is a is a recipe book on the chart sometimes? No, there are. <laughs> you know, I've been experimenting with flavors in terms of. So I, I I've done a. A bit of strange mixes, you know, okay. yeah, of of different kinds of food and brought them together. Some traditional Indian food with Italian stuff and then some Achha, fusion stuff, mm, fusions. Wow! So I've I've written, yeah, I've got my uh, some recipes, just scribbled recipes, if you mm. want. Yeah, it's a bit. It's a good outlet, you know. One mm. maybe uh, cooking is good when you get tired and you and you want to do something different. Cooking is the way for me. So what's I just, your? I just love it. What's the signature dish? I do a lot of. Um, as you know, I'm married to a Parsi, so Parsi yes. is a Parsi. Yeah. And I do a lot of uh, Parsi cooking too, wow. which is original yeah. Persian. You know, Absolutely. Persian. Yeah. And um, some of the my Parsi friends, in fact, they have asked for recipes, which is a. Uh, that's a of success for me. Wow, that's <laughs> a great compliment. compliment. So yeah, that I love that. Uh, that Fusion style of cooking. Enjoy. Bread pudding? Do you do the Parsi bread pudding or not? Yeah, they do. We, we do what is called. Uh, they have got the Parsi custard. Yes. They make especially uh, for for weddings. Absolutely. It's called. So uh, we do, do that quite bread often. I uh, yeah, I had some good Parsi friends when I was growing up. So mm. I'm very sort of familiar and uh, you know all the the pomfret in the yeah yeah in, in, the, in the, the banana leaf pomfret yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So today I have patrani mat machi. Kya bolte hain? Pat patrani machi. Ah, the fish in wrapped in. Yeah, with chutney. With chutney on top. Oh, with chutney on top. Lovely. I, 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 my mom used to do that. Too. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. so today we have made a very what is called the staple diet of Parsis. I've cooked a thing for you. You heard of Parsi dhansa? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, so I've, I've, I've prepared that for you. That's a, that's a very traditional yeah, yeah, Parsi. Yeah, very traditional. So, um, so I've done that for you today. Fantastic. But we'll we'll visit your studio. Yeah, and yeah we'll let's do visit it. your kitchen workshop. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we want to see the chef in action.
Mm. So this is a very nice uh, vibe that I'm getting here, Bharat. Right? And uh, especially the colors and the light. The perfect balance of yeah. culture and modern. Yeah. So let's see, I'm studio mein ja ke. I want to see what makes this man tick. Mm. Ki bhai, what is that process where the creativity flow is? For me, the prime focus is that I can get the nuggets of wisdom so that we can use it. What do you think about it? बहुत सारे नगेट्स पूरी गाड़ी खाली रखी आज ओके ठीक है चलो लेट्स सी नगेट्स ऑफ विजडम एंड द क्रिएटिव प्रोसेस आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड अबाउट दिस बट जस्ट बिफोर वी लूज दैट वेट कैन यू जस्ट एंजॉय दैट सीन फॉर अ मोमेंट या Uh, talk to the man, the creative process. Ki baat karna. But yet, I'm, I'm enjoying the, the the vibe and I'm enjoying the ambience here. Okay. Who, whose uh, job is this? Is it yours or is it father's? Um, it's I think. I don't know. She might say it's mine. I'll say it's hers. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's definitely the better half there. The best half. Best half. <laughs> Yes. It's been a beautiful so. combination of the modern and contemporary and, and the conventional art. So obviously a choice. This is, uh, this is us. <laughs> <laughs> Just bits and pieces area. We never go by a theme or anything like yeah. that. Whatever we like, we collect. It doesn't look like that there was not a preconceived theme in this one. It looks like it's a perfect balance there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> balance and chaos. <laughs> so uh How much time we do we have with sir today too, so that we can explore the creative process for our benefit to the best? Whenever you are ready for dinner, you yeah. give me those five ten minutes. But after that, actually, it's his job to do all the dinner and yes, everything. Yes, today course. I'm doing it for him. <laughs> <laughs> Great, Adi sir. Uh, before further ado, can we get straight into the the studios? Let the creative juices flow. Okay, let's do it. Can I say, please say, this is the first time we are actually filming inside the house for you, uh, like in in the common, like you're in, uh, yes. getting an insight of your mm -hmm, life mm -hmm. in the house is the first. The first, right? Yes. Okay. Let's go up. जैसे अभिजीत कह रहे थे ना कि जो पुराना होता है वो फाउंडेशन बन जाता है एंड इनफैक्ट द हारमोनियम इज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ इंडियन म्यूजिक अगर आपको इंडियन म्यूजिक सुननी सीखनी है तो यू हैव टू नो द हारमोनियम तो आई आई सी कि ये फाउंडेशन है जिसके ऊपर आइए आपका पूरा स्टूडियो बना हुआ है लेकिन ये ये हारमोनियम के बारे में आप बड़ी इंटरेस्टिंग चीज बता रहे थे including Jagjit Singh and Chhota wow. Prasad Gulamali who yeah. played on this Munni Begum by oh. some Shakespeare speakers but I played with Munni Begum no. as well as with Abhinav Parveen I played on him so yes it has um, um, it has gone through to jab aap was to jab aap Australia aaye the ye aapki pehli shift mein aaya tha main jab Australia aaya tha mere paas kuch bhi nahi tha aise एक आई परचेज अ कीबोर्ड एटी डॉलर का कैशियो वाला उसी से मैंने लेफ्ट इंडिया आई सोल्ड ऑफ एवरीथिंग ओके बिकॉज नॉट गो बैक तो ये ये बचा के यहाँ मैंने यहाँ पे 
Yeah, they bought it. Somebody got it. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. We purchased it. Yeah. Wow. It has. Uh, yeah, it's a piece of history. This one. Okay. So yeah, it's amazing. The transition from India. You said that you left. You had to sell off everything. No, I just gave it away. You just gave it away. Because I thought I'm going to Australia. Who will listen to me? Who will pay me? So I gave it away. I gave my harmonium, all my equipment, my percussion, whatever it was, all of it. 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 तो पैसा ने बोले आप गाते थे वहाँ पे हाथ से बोले गाना गा लो मैं हमारे घर पे एक महफिल है तब तो उन दिनों माइक्रोफोन भी नहीं होती थी यहाँ पे कुछ भी नहीं तो ऐसे घर में कुछ लोग बैठे थे बोले आप कुछ गाना गा लो तो मैंने आई जस्ट साइन अ फ्यू सॉन्ग्स एंड दैट्स हाउ इट स्टार्ट रियली सब ऑस्ट्रेलिया Can't remember which is the first song I sang, but I can sing a couple of songs. And, uh, maybe the first song that I that I did sing at that time. Love me, Danka. कुछ ऐसा दम मिल गया पुराने दिनों में सच लवली पोइट्री सच नाइस सॉन्ग्स और जब भी किसी को जान जाओ तो मैजिक ही खत्म हो खत्म हो जाती है बात खत्म हो जाती वो जो दो जो करीबी लोग होते हैं I think we have to constantly uh, invent ourselves every moment, so that we have to keep freshness. Of course, of course. Of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So, July, na jo na tum hamay jana. I think ye umm bolte hain. It is amazing. Yeah. Hmm. I'm, I'm just enjoying the combination of poetry and philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, what talent? Yeah, of course. And this is, or or jo apne pehla gana raha tha stage pe. How about that? Ye wala tha. This is it. Correct. This is the song I sang the first time. First time we got on stage. Yeah, absolutely. I just I'm funny uh, to kind of take this opportunity to share something personal so uh, my cousin Akhlad uh, he grew up as a musician so to speak uh, yes. a lead band singer of mm-hmm. heavy metal rock mm-hmm. I go back to India one day and he's sitting and playing the harmonium like it was yes. Yes. like he, it belonged to him mm. I saw that there is a potential appreciation for the youth uh, with the harmonium of course and and the Indian classical mm-hmm. in it Uh, for the larger audience what would be those things that uh, the modern music lovers should look at in the indian music or classical music so to speak to get attached to it what is that element um let me draw uh, a comparison apna jo jo classical music hai na that is the best way to compare that is like it's like jazz mm where the 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 beauty is in in the improvisation on the theme Mm-hmm. So you have a theme, but then in classical music you improvise, you produce Bilkul. on the spot. You are doing things mm-hmm. like the jazz musicians do. It's very, very similar. Yeah. So that's the comparison. So that I guess a lot of Western musicians uh, get into to Indian music because of that. That that thing is so mm-hmm. unique to our style that improvising mm-hmm. in classical music. Mm-hmm. Songs don't need songs. Are songs you just sing them, but the classical music yes. That, oh. That's it. वो तबले वाला सितार प्लेयर को जानता भी नहीं होगा. That's the first time they've met mm-hmm. and they can do a two-hour yes, yes, concert. Yes. You know, concert. It's amazing, so isn't it? So that's like jazz. Yeah, what's that? Main improvised. However, we have positives on all sides. Do you mm-hmm. know that in in the early eighties, I was um, a drummer in a rock band, and I I I, I was a drummer for many many years. Mm. So that's what my focus was, mm. to to rock and pop music at that time. Mm. That's what I did. One. So I gained a lot of it. It's not only the Western musicians who get a lot of us. Mm. We, we, there's a lot of scope that we need to learn from them. So, did the women come 
because of your drumming or because of your harmonium? Okay. Interesting. Best Come on. See, see, see this thing. <laughs> that is interesting. Cut to the chair. I should have been my question. <laughs> was, it the guitar, was it the guitar? Was it the drums? Or was it the harmonium wala Avijit? That the women came to? <laughs> Which woman would you go for? The one who appreciates? <laughs> you better ask the woman there. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. I, I, in fact, yeah. That's what a uh, lot of young boys learn. You know, they'll start smoking because it looks so cool. Mm-hmm. You know, and drums, and of course, yes, that's of another. Course. Yeah. So it brings the women in. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the saxophone. The, it brings the women in. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes, but there's always to learn from both sides. I, of course. I always believe that, and that's why I set up all this, mm. the more modern technology, because there's so much to learn, and so much to mix and mm. bridge between, between both. Yeah. So. so how about giving us a demonstration of? Uh, I, can, I can show you what modern what is done. So I work with um, a lot of um, electronic keyboards, as you see, synthesizers and so on. Hmm. And I, I work with a lot of, of digital technology yeah. uh, in music as well as in art. By the way, so I use for both. Uh, sometimes I do, for books I that I illustrate. I do my initial sketching there, but then I take to digital domain to mm. finish off and so on. Mm. Music is the same thing. I, a lot of music is composed here, but then I, when I'm writing the music, or doing the orchestration of the music of the song, I get in there and get onto uh, the most modern technologies mm-hmm. you, can, you can think of. Is there a need for Indian music to be written as well for the world to appreciate? We don't write. Well, uh, that's one of the sad things about our music. It's not documented mm. well at all. It's very sad. Mm-hmm. So much of wealth of information just disappearing every day. Mm-hmm. Because you don't have a system. If you look at the notation system of the Western musicians, it's unbelievable mm-hmm. the, the things that they can write musically, but music yeah. notations. Ours is not, not very good, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. We haven't developed it. So, you were saying that the old one, it should give, it should readily give to the next. And if you write it, you will not document it, it will be open. Absolutely. You know? and, and there is a bit of, I think, in our culture, this is a little handicap. I mean, we have that great Guru Shiship Parampara. Mm. Mm. Yes. But in that, there are a lot of cuts. Everything, if you want to learn something, you have to go through fire to learn. Absolutely. It's word of mouth. Yeah. Most of the time. And for you to learn the Guru, it's also a complete accomplishment. Oh. You can't just go and no, no, pay a Guru and say, I'm not accepting it. No, they accept it. Yes. So they say, okay, let's sing something. Then they'll listen and they'll say, no, 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 no. But the most important thing is the Guru. That's right. Yeah. So we have a parameter here, which I think is a negative side of Guru. It is. It is. Because if you have a legacy, so you have to write things. Yeah, you have to document. Very good. Very good. Very good. And sound. Stuff like that. You know, so these are all more. more. So you try, I try and mix and match sounds. Uh, trying to work on a project where I'm, I'm taking up a couple of guzzles that I've composed, but completely the, the orchestration is all modern mm-hmm. to that. So you have drums playing, a jazz style drums playing wow. the guzzles wow. and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying that out. So I love doing all that stuff of mixing because I believe that there is always something good you take from new and the old and you must know how to merge these things. And also I, I always encourage people to do the same. Mm. But keep your minds open, keep, yeah. just keep your mind open to everything, to the new and the old and you'll produce the goods. So that's what I do. A lot of my work is done on, on uh, modern day sequences and, and uh, digital recording technologies, a lot of that stuff. So. You're going to get to see some modern music playing as well while we had a taste of the harmonium today. So, Ghana hua, traditional hua, western hua. Let's come to your cartooning. I'm a big fan of that. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. society pay commentary to each other. Sure. And I'm a big fan of people who, who can do that. Sure. Yeah? 
So let's go. Should I take you there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. To the other section of the studio. So that's that's what it is. I work with um, all kinds of media, so from from oil to acrylics to watercolors. Um, these are some of the stuff that I've been recently been doing. Some of my friends on the easel. So. Um, character studies is a very favorite thing of mine. So I, I, I draw, I, I remember characters, and then I put them in a different perspective. And I try and, and produce things where the face itself tells the story of what the person is or what is the person thinking about, for example. And each, each face is a story. And if you, if you observe closely, you know, people like that. But I also do uh, serious illustrations like these. I do for books, a lot of books I illustrate, so a lot of serious stuff. There is one that I'm doing at the moment, which is um, about domestic violence. A book is being written in India, so I'm illustrating that. Okay. So that's a bit, bit of a challenge of those characters to do. But yeah, this is it. So I, I see a bit of Mario there. Yeah. Is there, yeah. Is yeah. there some inspiration for Mario? It is. I, I have always, so he's been my inspiration for, for mm. illustrations. Uh, I've studied his art, his, I think uh, that was one genius that Absolutely. India has produced, Absolutely. undoubtedly. Mm. Uh, underrated, definitely underrated uh, by the world standards. Mm. I would say he'd be a genius by world standards. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So I've studied a lot of, so a lot of his style has, has crept into my Yeah, I can see that. Uh, my um, drawings. And, uh, so yeah, I grew up with Mario, yes, uh, yes. Evening News, mein, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, of course, Mari Bal Bharti ki kitabo mein. <laughs> So I still remember his his illustration of the crooked man with Kavita. Oh, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> he was amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so, absolutely. What, what he did and uh, yeah. what he did. So, essentially, I'll just give you a quick update on this. So, when I draw, and sometimes people have asked me what the thought processes mm -hmm. are. So, if, if it's a face, then, then there is a thought process. If there is a story, or you tell me about a character. Otherwise, sometimes what I do is I, there is nothing, there is no story, there is nothing. And I just keep on doodling and keep on scribbling at night or on a piece of paper so I, I just pick I just pick up something and I and I and I draw and I just and as I draw the, the the characters come to my mind you know so and as you build more and more you got the characters coming more and more on you know? so, so like that <laughs> something like that from scribbles it becomes a story it becomes a story Something like that. You know, so you always, you always, and so this is how I start. I draw a character and then I think about what the person should think, and then I take it to the next stage of putting coloring, putting some shades in. But this is what I do initially: is a doodle of somebody who's not upset, who's upset with something, and not very mm. happy, and you know that's that the expression you get. Mm. Yeah. Party me kisi ne kuch bol diya. This, this is how you look at that yeah. person. Yeah. Side me se khade khade. Ah, so this is what, and then I develop the characters and, and I put colors in and put sh shades in and so on. At what stage would this now become modern? Because you did mention that you use both the mediums to get your comics. Yes, yes I do. So at what stage now, if you had to put this onto the modern ways of doing so, things. Well, uh, what I do is that I, I've got a scanner back at work. So I scan some of these drawings and, I, and I'll, if you want, I'll just quickly show you what I do Please. on the computer. Yeah, right. So that's, that's an interesting thing. Sorry. So there is um stick figures on asset from movie take me on. Put on my glasses for this. So I use this um what is called um, digital technology for drawing, which is um well you need to do your drawing skills anyway for that, so it doesn't um and um so you can um, In fact, they're exactly the same thing. You can, you can add colors, you can do amazing stuff. Mm. So. Would it be safe to say that the next step to that is uh, animation? 
uh, which you, animation, you, yes, you, you can do some amazing stuff on this stuff. Anyway. So animation is um, another step. I, I've been trying a bit of um, a bit of animation on this, and bit. I'll just get out of this if it's okay, and then I'll just get you. Um, so I use um, a thing called Character Creator, mm -hmm. where um, where you can create your own characters. I mean, you can take a character and um, and you can do a lot of stuff. For example, I can I can load a character that I've created and and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So this is actually a computer generated image. And so I can I can do a lot of stuff on you know, this. I can make this guy larger. For example, in size like that. So and then, then you can you can rotate it. You can you can do a lot of stuff. You can move it. You can make that guy. So this is how animation does nowadays anyway. Mm. So you can uh, you can do a whole lot of stuff on this. So I, I I'm working a little bit on this kind of stuff at the moment, trying to create my own characters. Gotcha. And, and trying to add a bit of movement. Yeah. It's, it's quite interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite interesting. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. stuff coming up, and you have to embrace technology. technology yeah, there is no way you can say I don't want technology. You'll have to, otherwise the world will just walk by you, and yeah. then forget and technology, about it. art, and talent. Yeah. Milke, so it's a very uh, great combination. Which yeah. speed up your creative process. Oh, it's, it's so much good. The workflow is so much easier mm. when you go into digital technologies. Yes, so I do a little bit of animation. Just started doing it, so it's working out well. So I think the only bit that we are still left to cover, apart from the food, uh, is the puppetry aspect of things. Do you no, have any no, puppets here? No, I don't, unfortunately, oh. no. Because that is something that I did uh, years ago. I used to do, um, I used to do a lot of puppetry in India. Mm -hmm. So all, all styles of puppets, including rod puppets and rod and shadow puppets. And so that was uh, many, many years I've done that. Uh, traveled to a few places in the world doing uh, shows. Uh, Large and for large theater uh, conferences that I went to France and all and that was fantastic stuff. Yeah, it was so exciting, so nice. It's a different media, you see. Mm. It's really, really good. So, some of the tradition can't give puppetry. Andhra Pradesh. In the world? Uh, one of the older, with China. Okay. China, Indonesia, China, mm. Andhra Pradesh. In so it's an Asian thing, basically. Uh, yes, yes, it's an Asian thing. I mean, you can trace back these things from thousands of years ago. Like it's amazing. Uh, I've always been fascinated about yes. puppetry. I mean, uh, when I was growing up, that used to be, you know, just like koi Diwali ke mele ho rahe, ya Ganesh Chaturthi. There used to be all these puppet, uh, string puppets, string puppets, yeah, finger puppets, and uh, they were they were really great. We used to do a lot of uh, productions with large shadow puppets, okay. which is which is as big as the door. The, the, each puppet, each character. Wow. Colored shadow puppets. So yeah, color, you can see color. Oh, mm. So that that is come that's come from Andhra Pradesh. That okay. ancient art of Andhra Pradesh. We've been a lot of productions, uh, epic, large productions, in France, in, in in Iran, some of the places we've done. So all this talk and all this music is making me hungry. I mean, yeah. everything makes me. Hungry. <laughs> yeah, anything makes me hungry. But but uh, it's making me thirsty too. <laughs> thirsty too. <laughs> Yeah, so I think what's, what's more interesting it's is a parched that. throat, you know. <laughs> so let's get done. Yeah. And do some uh, eating. eating. <laughs>
Yeah, really I nice love it. Up. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm very tempted in Sydney mein pehli baar we are inside the house of Abhijit Sarkar. <laughs> I'll get some wine. Hmm? I didn't know how to put the food back on. Okay. I want it only. Yeah. So if you are still in to give Dawn the company. <laughs> Just, do you want a soft drink? Uh. So, viewers, listeners, I hope you have enjoyed it as much as you have enjoyed it. Absolutely. And it's been a privilege to uh, come into Ajit Sarkar's studio and see where all that creativity happens. And of course, now we're going to sample, we're going to wet our parched throats yeah, and of course, uske baad mein, we're going to try some fantastic food that Avijit has put together with his own lovely musical hands. Mm. Yeah, thank you for uh, letting us do this, Avijit, and th thank you for letting us capture you uh, without a script. You know, we didn't, we did not uh, act this out, and this was quite spontaneous and natural. And thank you for being part of that, and thank you, Paulo, for uh, letting us into your into your den. <laughs> But uh, the one and the only thing I can be fortunate enough is that Avjit Sarkar's art has been known and appreciated by, by the entire city. But one exclusive thing that I have the privilege of uh, today experiencing is his culinary art. So I am looking forward to that. In case we have missed out on asking anything, please do let us know in your comments. And uh, the next time we meet him, we'll be sure to cover that too. It has been a fantastic evening with Manbir, Taufik and of course Pankaj. Um, chat from the heart itself, I might say. And good questions uh, posed for me. And that always happens when it's ad lib. Always, always does. But once again, yes, thank you. And um, as I always say to friends and students that hope is the foundation of mankind. So whatever happens, Never give up hope yeah. for your learning, for your work, and for your life. Thank you once again. Yes, to that. Cheers to that. Yes. We didn't put everything in a white thing, but just. Okay. That, that's the brown rice you have.